J-I-N-N-Y, the Hey guys, I am doing a video here that's going to take you through how to use Interpark to get your BTS concert ticket. Um, I know the system is a bit different than it used to be, but most of the elements should still be the same. So first of all, you want to be going to Global Interpark. Um, this is the web page which will have English on it. Um, if you sign up for the Korean one, um, it will obviously be in Korean. Um, but know that for a lot of the Korean ones, you might need a Korean address to be able to send the ticket to. So the first thing you want to do is sign in. Another thing that's really important is if you have any sort of ad blocker on your page, you really want to turn this off because it's going to stop the pop-ups from coming up and any sort of pop-ups that the site uses to sell tickets. So definitely, definitely disable that for this domain. So today I'm going to use a different concert to show you how it's going to work. Um, I'm not going to buy the ticket. I'm just going to run through the process of it so you know. Um, generally, you will need to click into the concert one, but because BTS is such a big um, <laughs> a group, um, it's normally on the front page already. So if you click on the front page, let me just show you really quickly. And then you scroll down, there's often a artist one for it, but you want to be in the concert section here. So you can see it's already there. This is for the verification. I'll go through the verification at the end of this video. I'm going to use a different concert as an example, but most of them will be very similar to this. So I'm going to this event. Um, the page is set up in this way. It does have all the concert details here as well as price and then normally here I have some information about the event. Um, here you want to select the date and time if you're able to um, and generally it'll pop up with this section here which shows you what is available. This section will really start going down the second you sign in. Um, see how this pops up? If you have the ad blocker on this will actually not pop up for you and that would actually delay your whole process. So this window pops up you really want to enlarge it so you can see this button or else it's going to really stump your whole whole um, sequence you want to press the date the time and then you want to press next so similarly to this um, if you look at it you see all these colored squares the colored squares are the available seats and the non-colored squares are the seats that are not available here is a seating chart here so you can click at different sections and then they will pop up and they'll show you the availabilities so you can navigate using this because you need to click on one of those colored seats in order to buy it so if i click into this one it will pop up as my seat number and then the section and all that and then you'll go into seat selection complete here you'll press that you want one ticket and then you'll go next. So those are all straightforward. For the international ones, you need to pick up at the venue. It's really important for the name that you put the same name as your um, membership card and then you'll write correct date of birth, your email. So after you press next, it will ask you to do the credit card. Um, this is when you need to be really, really fast. So you'd obviously go foreign card. These are all your options. You have to put your card number in pretty quickly. Um, there is a saved option where they can put the number in. Um, but if you just know the number really quickly, it's actually much faster to do that. And then after you put that in, you'll press next. That's when you want to hold your breath. Um, and if that goes through, then you definitely have the ticket. So I quickly want to go through the verification for anybody who is confused and still stuck on that step. Um, again, if you go back to the main page, it is just this link here. Um, you click on it and then you'll have all these pop-ups, pop which is fine. And then you want to click on the army membership member confirmation and then you'll get this other pop-up. Um, it says here how to check where you get the information um, on Weebly under more announcements, check your information. Um, and then there's another link which says check your information. And it pretty much has it set out exactly like this. So I would enter it exactly like this. I have people ask me about the space and all that. I think it's more important that you get the numbers right than the spacing. Um, I think that's what they check the most. But if you are worried, just leave the space in and do it exactly how it is shown on your membership. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions feel free to pop them down below but yeah good luck for anybody who is trying for a ticket because i will be doing the same and hopefully i will see some of you guys there hey guys just editing just popping in to do a quick few questions um, a lot of people have asked me about what happens if you try and do the verification um, and you've entered the lottery um, the way that it's worded is that you only need to put in your verification once for membership which is how the membership was even before they had the whole Weverse, Weebly, Webly system. Um, so if you've already entered your information once when you won the raffle ticket, I'm assuming that's the only verification you need. Um, obviously, if it doesn't go through, I'm sorry about that. I don't 
know that's definite answer. I've told people to just email either Interpark or Weverse or Weebly, Webly, um, for a more definite answer. For people who want to try for two tickets, it is really difficult. I have met Korean fans who have like friends who um, love BTS and they've never been to a concert next to each other um, unless it's in another country. It's really hard to get seats next to each other but it's actually really flexible in Korea for you to swap seats with people as long as you're in similar tiers. Um, they're pretty okay with that. Um, so if you have some Korean and you're happy to swap um, your seats with someone then that's a way for you to be able to sit next to your friends but I will definitely suggest trying one ticket at a time. Um, with internet speed it depends like I have hit tickets in Australia with really crappy internet while my friends haven't and they lived in Korea so I think it just depends on how good you are with the system so just make sure that you are ready to type everything in um, and don't worry too much about internet speed. Uh, remember to be patient and don't refresh too much um, because that's what happens when you lose the ticket. Um, I'll link my other video down below which I did a few more um, questions about it but yeah drop your questions down below I'll be happy to try and respond to them ASAP. Um, thank you for watching this video. I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!